I'm gonna show you five ways to research video topics so you can reach the most viewers who are actually seeking the videos that you're making. And we're starting right now. I'm Nick Nimmin. This is video number two in my series on how to make quality videos for YouTube. If you haven't watched the first videos yet, there'll be a link down in the description where you can just click on the playlist, sit back and watch every video in the series. Now with that out of the way, when it comes to making YouTube videos, not only do you have to come up with video ideas, but it's extremely helpful to your view count if those ideas are also things that people are actually looking for. The first way to do this is to use the Google Keyword Planner. And real quick, let me know in the comments comments down below if you currently research for your videos or if you just come up with the ideas off the top of your head and wing it. If you are not familiar with what the Keyword Planner is, it is basically a tool that Google created and released to the public, it's free to use, that lets you know what phrases and words that people are searching for on Google. Not only does it suggest other words and phrases that you can use, but it also gives you an estimate of how many people are looking for particular words or phrases. You want to use this data when you're researching your video topics because let's say you you have a topic and there are a hundred thousand people that are searching for it. Well, over time, your chances of getting views on a video that a hundred thousand people are looking for that particular topic, well, your chances are going to be a lot higher getting views on that than they are if you select a topic with 300 views or maybe no views. For example, you're probably going to have a pretty hard time getting views to that particular video. Now for the big question that I get asked a lot, how many searches is enough searches to qualify making a video for that particular topic? Well, personally, on the low end, I go for 1000 unless it's something that I really want to make a video on and then I'll just do it anyway. Uh, on the high end, I usually go 100,000 or more, depending on the competition uh, or other people that are also trying for the same or similar topics. The second is YouTube and Google Autocomplete. For this example, we're gonna focus on YouTube. As I mentioned in the last video, Autocomplete is great for coming up with ideas, but it's also great for researching video topics because you can instantly see the other competing videos that are surrounding that topic. Once you enter a phrase and see what other videos pop up, you can check the view counts to make sure people are also looking for videos on the title you're researching, and you can see how strong the competing channels are as well. Keep in mind though, and this is a very important thing that I want you to know, just because a channel that has been around longer or is just a stronger, bigger channel in the first place is dominating a particular topic, that does not mean that you just completely can't compete. For example, on my other channel, I made a video about ISIS that ended up outranking a much larger and stronger channel than mine. And that particular video ended up bringing me a lot of views and subscribers. Shortly after the video went live, I was in the top 10 and then it just kept climbing from there until I was in the number one spot. And I held that spot for a while. Unfortunately, at the time of this video, someone else has bumped me to the number two spot. Moving on. The third thing that you should be using to research your videos is Google Trends. Here's how it works. You type in the topic that you're wanting to make your video about and you can see if the interest in that topic is growing or on the decline. This is extremely helpful if you're making videos on current events or maybe big things that are happening in your industry so you can check to see if the buzz is over or not. For example, you can see on Google Trends that meditation was on the decline until around June of 2010 and has been steadily climbing ever since. If I shorten the time span to the last few months, I can see it's still a steady topic to talk about. And if I make a video about meditation, there's a good chance that it'll get some traffic as long as my description and tags are on point, as long as the video is good enough to have some decent audience retention. If you wanna know how to use Google Trends, my buddy Brian G. Johnson made an awesome tutorial on how to use Google Trends. I'll put a link to that down in the description below. While you're there, make sure you subscribe to his channel because he makes some very helpful videos that you're gonna wanna watch. The fourth method is community research. Community research is simply hopping on the internet and seeing on all the different platforms, seeing how big of a community supports the particular topic that you are going to make a video about. I'm talking Reddit, Google+, Facebook groups, blogs, and so on that are relative 
to the topic that you're making your video about. The reason that you wanna do this kind of research for your video is because you want to see if there are large communities where you can post your videos and gain a following, communities that you can add value to with your content. For example, if you make cooking videos where you're in your kitchen and you're, you know, you're explaining to people how to make particular dishes and so on, there's a really good chance that if you are a part of large cooking communities and you post your videos there, there's a really good chance that you're gonna get followers and views from those communities. And remember, as long as you are sharing valuable and unique content with those communities, you should be sharing your videos there because you're adding value to those communities. The fifth method is searching inside of yourself and coming up with ideas for things that you think videos should be made for. This is one of the best parts about having a channel. I mean, if you think that there's a video that should be made or a video that you can make better or in a more unique way than someone else, make it. Always keep in mind, before people were making Let's Plays, nobody was making Let's Plays. Before people were making makeup videos, nobody was making makeup videos. Before people were making do-it-yourself videos, nobody was making do-it-yourself videos. So do your thing. Just keep in mind, you wanna make sure that the majority of the videos that you make are on topics that people are actually looking for so that they can find you in organic ways in addition to however it is that you promote your videos. Remember to check out tubertools.com if you wanna give your videos and your channel a professional and polished look. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about researching your videos, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll help if I can. And make sure to check out the rest of this video series on how to make quality YouTube videos there'll be a link to the playlist and all the videos down in the description below. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button somewhere on this page so you can get more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. You speak English? No? Okay. While sitting here in the cab, I just had a phone notification come in that uh, one of my videos just reached a 10,000 view mark, which is pretty cool. First time for me.